today we are celebrating the world international snake bite awareness day uh, across the world on behalf of the who uh, many international organizations involved in snake bite including the christian medical college vellore uh, why are we celebrating the snake bite awareness day it is estimated that in india there are 50000 deaths every year due to a uh, snake and venomation and in tamil nadu approximately 10000 deaths occur every year due to snake bite therefore it is actually a very neglected tropical disease and uh, who earlier had removed snake bite from their neglected list of disease and this year they have uh, taken it up uh, as an important issue that needs to be addressed across the world one of the great promoters of uh, the international initiative is kofi annan who was the secretary general of the united nations and was involved in making sure that antiretroviral therapy was available uh, across the world for people with hiv aids he has taken a similar initiative to try and make sure that snake bite treatment is available to all the victims of this neglected disease what are we doing uh, today at christian medical college vellore we are holding a public exhibition uh, for uh, the public in vellore and patients who come to our hospital which involves demonstration the first state showing of videos puppet shows and giving media messages to highlight the problem of snake bite similar uh, activities are going across the country and across the world why do people die of snake bite uh, we have more than 200 snakes in india of which there are the big four which are the venomous snakes these in include the uh, the indian cobra the common crate the russell's viper and the sawskill viper these are the snakes which actually cause envenomation and death death occurs due to paralysis and paralysis of the respiratory muscles so breathing stops and patients can die these are due to the uh, the indian cobra and the common crate there are also the snakes that is the viper the sawskill viper the russell's viper which cause problems in clotting and blood cannot clot and therefore bleeding occurs and patients can die due to bleeding and kidney failure uh, in the south of india we see mainly the viper bites which cause uh, death uh, so patients die because uh, they do not come to the hospital early uh, people take native treatments uh which include uh, uh putting a blade on the bite side uh, putting local medicines like plant products uh and trying other uh, herbal treatments and this can lead to a delay in treatment and patient most often patients die before they come to the hospital another gap in care is the lack of availability of anti venom at the first point of contact of care in primary health centers anti venom is supposed to be available but there may be shortages of anti venom and also there are concerns about the quality of anti venom similarly uh, facilities have to be available for handling complications including uh, putting a patient on a ventilator the need for dialysis uh, blood products in case of bleeding and surgical facilities for management of wound complications therefore there needs to be a concerted effort at two levels one is public education so that all the people of tamil nadu and india are aware of the main prevention messages and two if you get bitten by a snake then to to access care as early as possible and three the strengthening of health systems through uh, ambulance transport uh, the availability of facilities at primary care for anti venom and management of complications uh, so we celebrate uh, uh the international snake bite awareness day and we request you to join in this effort to ensure that no person dies of snake bite in india do some work in uh, gudalur uh, in the nilgiris uh, the adivasi communities are there in the adivasi hospital actually they do not see snake bites oh so you last why is it that yeah. people live in the jungle yeah and do not have snake bites okay. is it that snakes yeah. are not there that is not true okay. but they have learned to live with snakes okay uh, so the question is that uh, if snakes are our neighbors and uh, do very good things for us then how do we live with snakes in an amicable manner okay. 
So there are some important messages here uh, that uh, when uh, uh, the whole way that we live and cultivate is, uh, leads to problems of humans make conflict. Uh, so, if when we are cultivating rice and we apply pesticides, the, pest the snakes cannot stay in the fields and they will move towards habitat. Okay. Uh, so, cultivation may be one important factor for the displacement of snakes uh, from their regular habitat. Uh, therefore, when we, uh, uh, in our, around our houses, uh, in this, we must maintain a distance between the house and the surrounding vegetation. Second is that the outside of the house should have clear lighting so that we can see the uh, the uh, the snakes when we go out. The third is that uh, when do not store food in the place where you are sleeping. Okay. Uh, the third is not to sleep uh, on the floor because particular snakes like the craze are very fond of coming in onto the uh, bed. Uh, yeah, on onto the floor, and if they if they come in there and you move, they will bite you okay. in the night. So, uh, so there are uh, 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 important things in planning houses to ensure enough gap, uh, good lighting, ensuring no food in the sleeping area, and to prevent sleeping on the floor, and to use a mosquito net. Uh, impregnated mosquito net have pesticides and snakes will move away from that. Not only protects against snake bite, but also protects against uh, uh, other bites like scorpion bites and of course against malaria and dengue. The misrepresentation of uh, uh, the care for snake bite in uh, popular movie, uh, one is that uh, encouraging uh, um, the playing with snakes or uh, 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 that is sometimes portrayed and uh, key and that is to be avoided. The second is that when you are bitten by a snake, uh, it's important not to incise the wound uh, or apply a tourniquet. Uh, you should call for help and call 108 uh, for immediate transport to a local health center and not access traditional treatment. Uh, this is a very important message and uh, there is an issue of media responsibility of the correct representation of prevention messages for snake bite because people follow what they see on the movies. There are three important points uh, in these discussions. Uh, the first is the need for uh, availability of good prevention messages in the public domain. The two is that uh, when people get bitten, they should access care quickly. And three, policy intervention towards strengthening health systems to ensure good quality of treatment. Uh, now in Australia, which is a much larger continent than India, uh, there are uh, more venomous snakes than are there in India. And in the whole of Australia, there are only about 500 admissions due to snake bite and only two or three deaths per year. So uh, we need to ensure in our country that we come to a similar situation in the future that uh, we have uh, prevention of deaths due to snake bites. Uh, it is not um, uh, in, in this day and age uh, uh, know what we know and what we are able to do. Uh, I feel that no citizen of India uh, should die of snake bite, which is eminently preventable disease. So many policy steps have to be taken in order to prevent uh, snake bite deaths. Uh, the government status, uh, statistics underrepresent the problem of snake bite, and the problem of 50,000 deaths occurring every year uh, makes it equal to other public health problems like malaria or tuberculosis or HIV AIDS. In fact, more people die of snake bite than of the HIV AIDS. Therefore, the government needs to take many policy steps to ensure prevention of death. These include, one, making snake bite and snake bite deaths a reportable event. Two, uh, the need for public awareness and government efforts towards this. Three, is the strengthening of health systems uh, to ensure good quality of care. 
and fourth is the development of better antivenoms to ensure effective treatments.